Imagine holding a small device capable of changing the course of history in an instant. From ancient explosions to modern military precision, grenades have evolved into one of the most iconic tools of warfare. But how did such a small, deadly invention come to be? What innovations have shaped the grenade we know today? Let's dive into its fascinating journey, from its humble beginnings to the future of explosive technology. The story of the grenade begins long before modern warfare with its roots stretching back to ancient times. The earliest form of what we now call a grenade can be traced back to the Eastern Roman Empire around the 9th century. These early versions were crude, often made of clay or metal, and filled with flammable substances. Their purpose was simple yet effective, to create destruction through fire or explosive force. These incendiary devices were primarily used in naval warfare, where they could be thrown onto enemy ships to cause fires and chaos. However, it wasn't until the 15th century that grenades began to take on a more recognizable form. The Chinese, always at the forefront of gunpowder technology, crafted the first fire grenades, small ceramic containers filled with gunpowder and fitted with a fuse. These fire grenades were used primarily to disrupt enemy forces, but their effectiveness was limited by their unpredictability and the difficulty of controlling them. Fast forward to the early 20th century and the grenade's evolution was about to take a monumental leap forward. Sir William Mills, an English engineer, is credited with the invention of the modern grenade. In 1915, Mills developed the No. 5 Mark I grenade, also known as the Mills Bomb. It was a game changer. Unlike its predecessors, it was designed for practical, controlled use in combat, featuring a safety pin and an easy-to-throw design. This innovation laid the foundation for the modern grenade as we know it today. The development of grenades has followed a long and fascinating path, marked by key historical milestones and continuous improvements. From their early forms as incendiary devices to the modern, sophisticated explosives used today, grenades have evolved in response to changing warfare needs, technological advancements, and battlefield demands. The Early Grenade Designs the initial design of grenades was rudimentary, but it was effective for the time. In the late medieval period, grenades were often small, handheld devices filled with explosive materials or gunpowder, typically made from materials like ceramic or metal. These early versions, while capable of causing significant damage, were highly unpredictable. They relied on a simple fuse system, which was often unreliable and difficult to ignite in battle conditions. Nonetheless, they found their place in siege warfare and naval confrontations, where their ability to start fires and cause chaos made them valuable. The first notable evolution of grenades came with the introduction of the matchlock mechanism in the 15th century. This was a significant improvement because it allowed for more controlled ignition of the explosive charge. The grenades of this time were still crude, but the matchlock system provided a more reliable method of triggering the explosion. The Ketchum Grenade and the Late 19th Century By the late 19th century, grenades had undergone a more significant transformation. One of the most notable designs of this era was the Ketchum Grenade, invented by American inventor William F. Ketchum during the Civil War. The Ketchum grenade featured a tail fin, allowing it to be thrown more accurately. This design helped stabilize the grenade during flight and made it easier to throw, improving its range and effectiveness. Although the Ketchum grenade was still filled with gunpowder and operated using a simple fuse, it represented a huge leap forward in grenade technology its tail fin mechanism would go on to influence many future grenade designs, especially as military needs evolved and the nature of warfare became more complex. World War I, the birth of the Mills Bomb. The real turning point in grenade development came during World War I. As trench warfare became the dominant form of combat, the need for more effective and practical grenades grew. 
The British Army, in particular, recognized that their soldiers needed a safer, more efficient means of deploying grenades. Enter Sir William Mills, an engineer who revolutionized grenade design with the Mills Bomb. The Mills Bomb, developed in 1915, introduced a safer and more reliable design. It featured a pin mechanism that had to be pulled out before the grenade could be thrown, a key safety feature that prevented premature explosions. The grenade was designed with a hollow metal casing that increased the fragmentation upon explosion, making it more lethal. The Mills Bomb became the standard issue grenade for British troops during World War I and quickly influenced grenade designs around the world. The Mills Bomb's success in World War I marked the beginning of modern grenade technology. Its compact, easy-to-use design allowed soldiers to carry and throw grenades with greater efficiency and safety, and it remained the primary grenade used by many nations throughout the first half of the 20th century. World War II, the Steel Han Granat, and the Soviet F-1 grenade. World War II brought new challenges to grenade design, as the scale and intensity of combat grew even more complex. Grenades needed to be more effective, both in terms of range and impact. The Germans introduced the steel Handgranat, or stick grenade, which featured a long wooden handle. This handle allowed soldiers to throw the grenade further, making it ideal for use in more open combat situations. The steel hun granat's unique design was notable for its simplicity and effectiveness, and it was widely used by the German military during the war. On the Eastern Front, the Soviet Union developed the F-1 grenade, which became another iconic design of World War II. The F-1 was a small, compact grenade with a high level of fragmentation. Its design was simple yet effective with a steel casing that maximized the grenade's shrapnel effect. The F-1 grenade's success on the battlefield made it one of the most widely used grenades in Soviet and Allied forces during the war. These innovations highlighted the importance of versatility and adaptability in grenade design. As soldiers faced different types of combat, grenades needed to be able to adapt to various situations from trench warfare to open field battles. Post-World War II Developments and the M67 After World War II, grenade technology continued to improve with the advancement of materials and design. The M67 grenade, introduced by the United States in the 1960s, became a standard issue for American forces during the Vietnam War and beyond. It was a fragmentation grenade with a simple, spherical design that allowed for a consistent and predictable explosion pattern. The M67 featured a metal casing that was designed to produce a high number of fragments upon detonation, increasing its lethality. The M67 also introduced several modern features, including a more reliable fuse mechanism and the use of more durable materials like plastic and steel. These materials made the grenade more resistant to impact and improved its performance in various conditions. The M67 grenade remains in use by U.S. forces today, a testament to the longevity of its design. Modern Innovations In recent years, grenade technology has continued to evolve, with significant advancements in both design and functionality. Modern grenades are now often equipped with more advanced fuses, which can be said to detonate after a specific time or upon impact. This allows for greater control over when and where the grenade will explode. Another major advancement has been the development of grenade launchers, which allow grenades to be launched from a distance, providing a new level of precision and firepower. These launchers can fire a variety of grenades, from fragmentation to smoke and flashbang types, giving soldiers a range of options for different combat scenarios. Smart grenades, equipped with advanced sensors and guidance systems, are also on the horizon. These grenades have the potential to offer greater accuracy, minimizing collateral damage, and enhancing their effectiveness in modern combat. 
These innovations mark the future of grenade technology, with increasing focus on precision, safety, and adaptability. The development of grenades has come a long way, from their humble beginnings and unpredictable performance to the highly controlled and effective explosives used today. Each milestone in grenade design has been a response to the changing nature of warfare, with each new version bringing improvements that increase effectiveness, safety, and versatility. From World War I's Mills Bomb to the smart grenades of the future, grenades have evolved to meet the needs of modern military forces, continuing to shape the landscape of warfare. The history of grenades is not just one of gradual progress, but also one marked by surprising innovations and unexpected turning points. One such turning point came during World War I, when the development of the Mills Bomb transformed the role of grenades in combat. Before this, grenades were rudimentary, often unreliable and difficult to use effectively. Soldiers struggled to throw them accurately, and the unpredictable fuses made them dangerous in the heat of battle. However, the Mills Bomb, introduced in 1915, was a breakthrough in safety and usability. Its pin mechanism, which required the user to pull out a safety pin before throwing, allowed soldiers to carry grenades without the fear of premature detonation. This small change completely transformed grenade warfare, making them a staple on the battlefield. The Mills Bomb's design was also a key factor in its success. Its fragmentation capabilities were much more effective, causing widespread damage and increasing its lethality. Another surprising element came during World War II with the German Stielhand Granat, or Stick Grenade. Its unique long handle allowed for a longer throwing range, offering soldiers a more versatile option compared to the traditional grenade designs. This innovation, although simple, proved incredibly effective, influencing grenade design for years to come. These unexpected advancements played a significant role in shaping the modern grenade, proving that small changes often have the greatest impact. As we look at the evolution of grenades today, the technology has significantly advanced, and modern versions bear little resemblance to their early ancestors. The grenades used in today's military operations are designed to be highly efficient, safe, and versatile, thanks to ongoing innovation and technological advancements. Modern grenades, such as the M67 Fragmentation Grenade, represent a significant leap forward in both design and functionality. The M67, used extensively by U.S. forces, has a spherical shape that ensures a consistent and predictable explosion pattern, with an emphasis on maximizing fragmentation to increase lethality. One of the key advancements in recent years has been the introduction of grenade launchers. These devices allow soldiers to launch grenades from a distance, greatly improving accuracy and safety. Grenade launchers offer a variety of options, from traditional fragmentation grenades to smoke and flashbang varieties, providing soldiers with more flexibility in combat situations. The ability to launch grenades with precision helps minimize risks to friendly forces and reduces collateral damage in urban environments. Looking into the future, the next generation of grenades may incorporate smart technology, such as sensors and guidance systems. These smart grenades could allow for greater accuracy, pinpointing targets and reducing unintended damage. As warfare becomes increasingly reliant on precision, the evolution of grenades promises to be marked by even more advanced designs, emphasizing safety, effectiveness, and adaptability. The evolution of grenades has been nothing short of extraordinary, and as we reflect on their journey, it's clear that this small yet powerful tool has played a significant role in shaping modern warfare. From the simple, unpredictable fire lances of ancient times to the highly controlled, precise grenades of today, we've witnessed a continuous progression of innovation and improvement. 
as technology continues to advance, the future of grenades holds exciting possibilities. The development of smart grenades and grenade launchers represents just the beginning of what's to come. With advancements in precision targeting, safety features, and advanced materials, grenades will only become more efficient and effective in future combat. So, what do you think the future holds for this small but mighty weapon? Will grenades continue to evolve with technological breakthroughs, or will new innovations replace them entirely? The path forward is open, and it's fascinating to imagine how this tool will continue to shape warfare in the years to come. What do you think the future holds for grenades? Will new innovations continue to shape this explosive tool, or will advancements in technology lead to the development of entirely new weapons? The evolution of grenades offers a glimpse into the future of military technology, with smart grenades and enhanced precision likely playing key roles. We'd love to hear your thoughts. What era of grenade development impressed you the most? Which innovations do you think could revolutionize grenade in the future? Share your opinions in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos exploring fascinating topics.